Today's America's Cup Racing is brought to you from Auckland, New Zealand. So here we go, the match, race one. The first to seven race wins will hold the old mug aloft. Yeah, for us as the defender, it's been a little while since we've been out racing, so it was amazing to get out there. This is the moment that every America's Cup cycle waits for anxiously, that first lineup. We flag this kick out. Protest. Big advantage to Emirates Team New Zealand already in this race. Today, I think, was a very positive day. My first inclination here is this is not a runaway train for the Kiwis right now. In conditions when Team New Zealand should have uh, uh, destroyed us, uh, they didn't. The Italians are not going away. I think one thing today did show that if you get behind at the start, it's pretty hard to get past. And Emirates Team New Zealand, the defender, get first points in the opening race of the match for the 36th America's Cup. We regrouped. Composed, went went out and won the next race. So that, that's a good sign of strength for the team. And it's Luno Rosa Prada Pirelli, the official challenger of record for its team New Zealand. We can really feel the passion of the Italians pushing the boat uh, forward. Bye. Oh, 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 that's a good one, Jimmy. We've got a, a lot to go back and learn. You know, it's obviously been the first time we've raced for three months. So. Definitely chipping off a little bit of rust, but you're really happy with how we checked on. We still don't know who the quicker boat is here yet, right? Both the teams are obviously still in the search for boat speed, trying to get faster and get one up. Both boats are saying, hey, we can win this thing. Well, let's have at it. We'll see you on Friday. I believe the fastest boat will win the America's Cup. No mai, hara mai, and welcome to the land of the long white cloud, Aotearoa, New Zealand, and Tamaki Makaurau, Auckland, battleground for the 36th America's Cup. It's day two of the big show, and after a build-up filled with bluster, allegations of gamesmanship, and talk of one-sided racing, both teams put their form, strength, and weaknesses on show. What did we learn? Don't assume anything. We've got a boat race. So as we head into day two of racing, it's one all. One race win apiece. Terejo Tai won the first race of the series by 31 seconds. Luna Rosa bagged the second by seven seconds. First to seven wins the America's Cup. Today, the Italians will have port entry for race three, while the defenders will come in from starboard. The breeze is light. Let's head to the back paddock. Course E for the start. It's a good, strong position for the Kiwis, but look out for the dirty air, that bad air, that wing wash of Lunarosa right now. That, that, that's one thing that they have to be very careful and mindful of. They will probably take If they come up, we go up. Looks like a lead back position by the Kiwis right now, jiving to the inside, still with over a minute to go. Okay, boards just come now. Hey, boards coming up. Hey, maybe we don't yeah, get speed, 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 so he's no, the line, I think. 30 seconds to the start of race three. Two boards down, trying to slow up. Time and distance up. critical to make the start a perfect one. Easier. Happy to charge here. Start to push now. Get charging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are go, race three of the match in the 36th America's Cup. Clean start by both Emirates Team New Zealand, Luna Rosa, Prada Pirelli. 
We laid out and let the, the sailors do the uh, commentary for us, Nathan. It was just two boats that were kind of in control, kind of okay with where they were, and a, and a fairly even start. As they approach this first border uh, in that first crossing, remember, Prada will have to give if the Team New Zealand the right away when they tack to port if they get into that zone, if they get into this zone. And, and you'll see Prada go probably fairly soon. So what we'll expect now is Luna Rossa to lure it in front. They're in a leave out position here. This is the long lane across the other boundary. If Luna Rossa can go a high mode, Team New Zealand might struggle. We saw this several times against Ineos and also against American Magic. Prada having this high, slow mode, squeezing the competitor off. And a little better tack, surely. Going out to you on the water, it looked like, again, Luna Rossa was a little better on that tack. And when we're so close, just a few meters makes a huge difference. Kenny, we're right behind them, and you're, you're absolutely right. Also, Luna Rossa really quickly to get up to pace. I was watching their BMG as well, you know, a knot or two higher. And look, just left New Zealand with no choice. Very, very impressive maneuvering by the Italian team. So good discussion of Luna Rossa there. Talking about are they going to attack on him or are they going to go off into the boundary and minimize attack? They decided to minimize the attack and um, clearly they're confident in their boats. No kidding. And, and actually, that was kind of interesting because you tack on the Kiwi boat in that spot, you shove them right back over to the short side of the racetrack. But yeah, this is confidence. Confidence in, in your boat when you just let your guy go like that. But this comes as no surprise, surely, with the way they operated and got better and better in the Prada Cup, and they've just moved straight into the match with that same confidence. Yeah, but remember, they tack better. So if you tack better, we think they tack better at this stage. If you tack better on the Italian boat, why not get the other guy tacking more? Luno Rossa, Prada Pirelli, carrying on from race number two, and they will lead Emirates team at New Zealand around the mark. But have they let them off the hook? There will be a split. They, they obviously did fine on that cross, but there will be a split on this run. A 10-second lead to Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli when they head down on their first downwind leg. Emirates team New Zealand were steaming down, but it will still be in the deficit. They will have to make another jive to get into that gate area as Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli head towards the downward gate for the first time and they will around it leading an Emirates team New Zealand side that have made ground it was 10 seconds at the top gate what will it be at the bottom have they found any advantage it's not going to be much but they're still going to be behind Emirates team New Zealand the defender one all in this series at the moment as a 13 second deficit, they've lost three seconds on the downwind leg. The question that any fan that is maybe new to yachting, Nathan, is where does the magic come from and what do you do? Well, the magic right now is trying to, trying to find a little bit of extra pressure, trying to get a little bit of leverage, a bit of separation from the competition, right. try and find that little bit of extra speed. And if you can just start closing the, the distance down, start attacking, force an error from your competitor. Similar to what they were doing on the downwind leg, right? Splitting the course and finding some pressure. There's lots of talk about boat speed differences, but it's it's also got a lot to do with the angles at which they're sailing. I think Team New Zealand probably are going through the water faster, and hopefully after the race we can get a bit of data to, to show the speed differences. But for me, it's, it's the angles. It's how good Prada are at sailing a high mode. Their tack losses look less with those bigger foils, and they look like they're sailing a little bit slower on average, but the, the angle they're sailing to the wind is narrower. So they're ending up doing less distance. So in these lighter winds, the bigger foils are, are working for them right now. Calm and controlled racing again from Luna Rossa as they round the mark. It was 10 seconds at the first mark, 13 seconds at the second mark. What will it be at the third? 
27 seconds behind the challenger. Wow. So it's actually quite light at the bottom of the course. It's, you know, eight, nine knots, um, but they always seem really powered up. And I, I think the Kiwis less so, you know, bigger angles coming out of maneuvers and, um, you know, it's much harder. I think you're right. I've been watching the numbers as we've come down this run, Kenny, and the, the Kiwis have a bit more, they have a bit more depth for sure. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli complete the fourth leg they're on their penultimate leg they're heading on the upwind it was 27 seconds at the top what will it be here well as we sort of suspect a little bit more downwind speed from emirates team new zealand but it's still 22 seconds and there's a long way to go we've been watching emirates team new zealand around they haven't made any mistakes the, the crew work on board looks slick you know the maneuvers are good but to me it just doesn't look like their boats motored correctly for this this lighter wind Strong, confident, and smooth. One leg to go for the challenger of record. 22 seconds it was at the end of leg number four. What will it be at the leg number five? Emirates Team New Zealand now finally getting to the gate. And the margin has strung out just a little bit more in favour of Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli at 38 seconds. It feels like reasonable pressure here at the moment. Yeah, we've got to go boundaries here. Yeah. This is all about development. If you remember back to December, these guys were quite a bit off the pace, but remember they didn't have their final set of foils on. They've done a lot of aerodynamic changes to this boat. I bet you they've changed the rudder, they've changed the way they sail the boat, new sets of sails. Max Marina, Serena said, it's all about upgrades. We might be seeing a pivotal moment in the America's Cup match on the Hauraki Golf because Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli has just won another race. They go ahead 2-1 in the match against the defender and you can bet those fans of Luna Rossa are pretty happy about that. Francesco, they say winning is a habit, and early in the match, you've won the last two. This must feel good. What, what did you guys do so well today in this first race of the day? I think we just sail a clean race. Um, we had our plan, and uh, we executed well on the start. Um, and uh, from there on, we, we had the opportunity to make them pay that left uh, boundary. And, uh, and we did it. On board Emirates Team New Zealand with uh, Peter Burling. What did you make of the team's performance in that race? Yeah, well, we were, um, I think, definitely pretty happy with the performance. Uh, you know, something, obviously, it's nice to come away with a win, but, you know, we thought we did not a bad job off the line. Um, we kind of changed to wanting the, the lord position during that pre-start, but then, yeah, they obviously got a, a little bit too much gauge to the right so they could get a nice leave our attack. And, yeah, then they did a pretty nice job for there, and we really found it hard to, to get any shifts to, to get into it. You know, we had to do a couple of extra manoeuvres on well, both the first run and that first beat, which you know, really put us a little bit too far behind to catch up. So a bad day in the office for Emirates Team New Zealand. They drop a point to Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli, who led from go to woe. It was a commanding victory. Can they maintain the momentum? We'll be back with race four after the break. So the light winds are working in Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli's favour. They've broken the deadlock and extended their lead. Do they have a slight edge? Well, the Kiwis are an America's Cup superpower. This series is far from over. Let's head to the back paddock for race four. Emirates Team New Zealand has port entry. Luna Rossa Prada Pirelli has starboard. Three, two, in comes one, Emirates one. Team New Zealand. First entry for race four of the match. And just on their tail will be Luna Rossa, Prada Pirelli in starboard. The job here we take around, I think. Quarter. He has to jump. Can't make it. Quarter. Jump. Marginal. He's jumping. Okay, he's not jumping. Jump down or 
Kind of setting up in similar positions to the uh, to the last star right now. Both of them with a similar size jibs and similar size sail packages right now. But the Kiwis are dangerously close to being off their foils, but they seem to be able to pop up pretty easily from this spot. Not too low, I think. Okay, good. You can see them, I think. Can you see them? He's up again. It's not okay, foiling. They, they could be coming in here for a hook. They're going on the attack here. Jimmy Spittle on the attack. You better be sure you can attack from here if you're going to get yourself down in this spot, though. New Zealand pretty early once again. Maybe you can go above for me. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. You can come down here. Both going to reach down the line. Charging. Not lower, not lower. Oh, okay. Start race four of the America's Cup match. Nervous start for Emirates Team New Zealand, but they are away. But much tighter. This is very different from the last start. Prada started much closer to the hip of the Kiwis. The Kiwis should be able to fend them off this time around. Yep. There, there you go, Luna Ross attacking straight away. Peter Burling said he was happy with his first start, but it gave too much gap. Tight to Lewitt is strong, and wide and right is strong. And this time, Emirates Team New Zealand win the starting battle. And the transition here. Yeah. Well, definitely up and down a little bit more than we saw before and, and on the other coast of Auckland, the wind's in the other direction, so potentially something could happen. It's definitely way more, way more unstable. Lighter patches down to six, seven knots now. Here comes the key moment, Stephen. Starboard tack boat, Luna Rosa has right away at the top of the screen. Have we potentially seen our first pass? I'm not so sure. An attacking duel begins. <laughs> uh, who thought? Who would have thought? Happy boundary tack, eh? He's going all the way to boundary. Numbers just dropping. Keep it all good, still over. Yeah, he can't get that yeah. one with big gain, but nothing. Oh, oh. It looks like it left those. Looks like a little bit of a bow. You can hear them talking about better pressure on the left right now. That looked like the cleanest tack we've seen them do yet. That that one. That was really interesting. And, and maybe even a higher flight uh, ride. So they're always trying something. That's what it sounds like to me, that they're still trying to figure this out. What do you reckon? Quite far inboard on the sheet. I mean, I'm going to pace up from this side. Yeah, copy. Yep, great. And I'll over to the right here. And this one. Three. A little bit out. Yep. Fine. Heading towards the top mark for the first time in a race four of the match between Emirates Team New Zealand and Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli. It's tight already at the top mark. Who will get around first? You're about to find out. It's mere seconds. And it will be Emirates Team New Zealand leading for the first time in two races. And around the top mark they go for the first time. It won't be a huge gap. And they head down on leg number two. Not much at all. Nine seconds. It's definitely the closest race we've had so far of the match. 50 metres downwind. We're used to seeing more like 150 metres. So see how much a jive loss is here. Luna Ross are just jiving now. It's going to go from 50 just over to 100. That shows you how much distance they're getting lost in manoeuvres. Sigh of relief for Emirates Team New Zealand at this particular point. But you just know in this match and these... AC 75s, it can be a one mistake race, but around they go. Emirates Team New Zealand with the lead in race number four and getting around gate number two to head up on the upwind leg for the third. 
Slow jive there by Luna Rosa, almost off the foils down to 18, 19 knots. Doesn't even look like they may make this mark. If they do, it's going to be barely, probably with both boards down. Turning up three, two, one, turn. And that's a big gap, and we're not even halfway yeah, through this race. Yeah, it was 34 good. seconds, one mistake. That's probably the first error we've seen by either team in the last two days, that, that bad jive there by Prada, and it, it's effectively let what was a pretty close race into now quite a large lead, and if you make a mistake like that, you're now just waiting for the other team to make the mistake. Oh, it, it's tough, isn't it? I mean, it was interesting between the races, the, the brains trust on the Kiwi boat spent the entire time together just thinking about what they can do. And, and for sure, they would have felt, they would have felt the pressure. Um, and wow, they came out and, and won that start. So I think you just have to, you have to keep it together. It's been a long time since we've seen such an error in maneuvering. We've kind of got used to it all just happening you know, at 100%, but tough now for the Italians really to, to come back into this. It's a healthy lead as they complete the halfway stage of this race. Leg three of six done. You, you could hear the guys chatting on board. The breeze is dropping a bit. That means that the manoeuvres are getting harder and harder to pull off. Pretty nice jive there by Emirates Tourism. Well. They're going to lay the bottom gate here. Prada's still got another jive to go. Yep. Big lead in race four of the match in the America's Cup out on the Hauraki Gulf. And it's the defender, Emirates Team New Zealand, who need this win to level the match up. And they will go into gate number four comfortably ahead. Luna Rosa Prada Pirelli now approaching the end of leg number four. And the lead somewhat has blown up in favour of Emirates Team New Zealand. Board issues on that third leg has really cost them. And it's a 48 second gap now to the lead. And the Kiwis are stretching. And remember, I don't think we've seen this boat lose a light air race in a long time. Even when they made a couple mistakes against the Brits, they, they got nice. passed. They, they, they got themselves back in the race. And actually, that was the last time we ever saw a pass. Two. Two. They'll head into the top gate for the last time and then head on the downwind leg. And there will be sighs of relief, I can imagine, too. Because they've sailed, like Luna Rossa in the first race, they've sailed a good race. A couple key moments here, Nathan. That start, and then that, that then what was a close race got pretty far apart with that one botched uh, jive down at the bottom by, uh, at that set gate number two, first lured mark. Well, if you thought that the Luna Rossa win by 37 seconds was a statement win or a pivotal moment in this America's Cup match, maybe we need to rethink that because the gap is such now that this is going to be a, a very encouraging win by Emirates Team New Zealand. 58 seconds, they've pulled another 10 seconds out of that leg, that upwind leg. They are back in the groove, baby, and they are going to lock up this match. They will win race four of the 36th America's Cup, and we have got a tied ball game, as they say. Scorecard now, Emirates Team New Zealand two, Luna Rossa two. Let's head to Emirates Team New Zealand. Flight controller Blair Chu going to have a chat with us. Well, that must feel better, Blair. A confident, a near flawless performance by Emirates. Yeah, that was a really good race for us. Just got off the start line slightly better than the race before. Very similar uh, positionings, but we just managed to get the jump on them before the boundary, and our uh, boat's going really well, and, yeah, managed to extend nicely. Hey, Blair, congrats on the win. Two all must be a good feeling after today. We had some really good camera angles over your boat as you're going downwind with some cool technology in that boat. You know, cameras looking at foils, controllers everywhere. Can you... Can you give us some insight on the kind of technology that's inside your boat? Spill it. What, are we, what he's trying to say is spill it. Come on, we need, we need some dirt. Let's that, go. It looks great. 
Sounds like you already got it all from the camera angle, so not much point there. <laughs> Passing too much on, but now that... Yeah, I can, Pete, but I haven't got much longer. Um, yeah, no, the, the, yeah, that's that's all good, mate. We, we've got to keep moving. Congratulations! And he was and, just uh, about to we, give us all. No, the he dirt. wasn't. He yeah, wasn't going to tell us. But the secrets. I will try again later. Blair, thanks for your time, bud. <laughs> we've got to get to, to uh, get some words from uh, Jimmy Spittle on Luna Rossa. Thank you, guys. I heard you coming across the line, Jimmy. Uh, bad bad luck, but uh, not a bad day. One, are you satisfied? Yeah, no, we uh, won one scoreline. Great racing from both teams. Full credit to the Kiwis. They did a nice job in that race. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow. So, low wind, high pressure. Day two come to an end and the fight for superiority continues. Who will break the deadlock? Who knows? The high octane, high speed, high stakes action continues tomorrow. The America's Cup is still anyone's cup. Today's America's Cup Racing is brought to you by Prada.